So when I was reading this email, I was completely shocked that this was the plan. And I was shocked when I saw one word. One word just, you know, I, I just, it floored me. It literally, you know, I just started, burst out and laughing, laughing. And the word was pivot. So we've learned a lot of funny things. It was really interesting email, very delusional in my opinion. But once I saw the word pivot, that's the point we can pivot one way or another. I just, I just couldn't control myself. That was the end. I knew, I knew I couldn't continue emailing Anthony no more. That I knew that was this was the last email because I just had to make videos about it. I just couldn't control myself, and I, I do apologize. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to play the game longer, but man, I, I saw the word pivot and I was like, oh god, <laughs> you know, he has not changed at all. So if you know Anthony Lore, you know every time disaster has hit him, he has used one term to save him, and it is the pivot term. Pivot. Pivot. Let's pivot. And, you know, we, he pivoted from selling watches to consigning watches. It's, even he said he could pivot to selling paper cups. This is a word that is infamous if you are a TPG watcher, hater, lover, whatever. Maybe you're just in it for the free dinners, right? You're part of that watch community that really supported him. And now you, you don't support him no more. You don't want anyone to know that he offered you a free dinner. Look, man, this stuff is just so bizarre. This is the most logical of the emails. This is after I told him, hey, everyone hates you. They want a pound of flesh. This is after I told him all the negative things that you guys told me. This is after I told him, hey, you know, my, my life might be in danger and then we're getting spammed. This is after the spam. Problem. This is after all those things happened, which would indicate that people are not going to let you back into the community is when the plan was hatched. This is not the first plan. Anthony has nine months in jail. This is actually the most reasonable of his plans that he has pitched to me. And so I, I, I'm sitting there thinking, oh shit, man, the pivot. I never thought I would see that word from Anthony. Like, instead of apologizing, remorseful, what I wanted, okay, so this is my vision. We bring in the biggest critics of Anthony. We bring in the victims. If the victims want to come on, just like Bob came on and just obliterate and Wesley and obliterate it, there are other victims here. I've reached out to those victims. Some of those victims have reached out to me. It's public. It's online. You can see. There's an interaction where I say, just email me, right? And then now not everyone who's reached out turns out to be a victim. So you do have to fact check that with Anthony to see if, you know, you know, this. It's just, you got to be honest with me, Anthony. Otherwise, we don't show nothing. I've held the two most critical things from Anthony. One, the actual quality of the artwork. Don't you guys want to know? Like, how do you buy something and not know what you're buying? Right? That, that's a big jump, in my opinion. You know, I work in the marketing space. And I can tell you, you got to show off what you're selling. Otherwise, no one. And I told Anthony this in the phone. I didn't tell this, him, oh, send more pictures. I was telling him, hey, I got it. And I'm not going to show it. You better give me Liz and Darby and somebody. Else. There's another interesting individual involved in all this that you may not know very, very well. I have not bought his name into it yet because I wanted more information on him before publishing his name. But I'm, I'm positive if I publish his name, all hell would break loose. So I wanted to get a confession. Oh, I sent this many watches to XYZ. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, I sent him at 70%. For somebody as wise and smart as this individual, if he were to buy from Anthony at 70%, that would indicate to me that he knew something was wrong. That's why I wanted on a platter. That's why I, I wanted, first of all, I wanted to go on Liz and Darby. And then the second one was this said individual, which we're not going to get into because he didn't give me his head. I don't have the information I want. So I'm getting pissed. He's getting pissed. And we're never going to reach. It's very clear to me that we're never going to reach an agreement on to what we want. He wants money in jail. Okay. It should be obvious. 
I am not giving him the opportunity to make money in jail because there's no way for you to do this. There's no bank account. I would have to set up the bank account. I would have to set up the escrow, which he would mention on the previous phone call. I would need to do a lot of things to set up an account, which then he could get paid from. That account does not exist today, to my knowledge. You know, again, maybe he made it with another friend or something. I don't think there is currently a way because there are seven steps. I've only introduced step one. The other six steps, you don't know actually how to do it. And I would have never figured it out unless he told me the six steps. I've not presented that via text message. I've said, stated that there are other additional steps that you need to take, but I never told you what the steps were. And we also have not shown the quality of the photos, which would have been really good for views, but whatever, right? Like, whatever, guys. And those are the two leverages I have against him. He wants to make money. He wants to rebuild hate. I don't know if he really cares about that as much as the money. He wants to make money, make $100,000 plus in jail, as he's mentioned. I have control over that because I have the things. What I want and what I'm willing to trade for, these are two very important items he needs. He needs me to show the photos and he needs me to tell you, read you out loud these steps. And then he, and then he wants me to like, you know, you know when there's like tutorials online, right? Like how to fix your garage, how to fix your AC and so He wants me to like make a high quality video where I show you step by step, like how to actually pay him. And I'm just like, you know what? You know, and, and I, you know, maybe I, I'm, I don't know, maybe if he gives me the two people, Liz Darby and the other person, maybe it would be worth it because then we could get the watches back. I really do think Liz and Darby are sitting on a lot of money right now. That's why they're living, they're, they're barely working. One of them is in Dallas skateboarding all the time, having a party. They're barely working. These two are lazy mud effers, man. Liz and Darby are barely working right now. Um... So I'm positive money can be clawed back from Liz and Darby. I'm po I, I can show you other things which indicate that this is true um, to me. And if you have information on Liz and Darby, please reach out. You guys know how to find me via email or LinkedIn because I would love to claw back money from them. So I think there's money to be clawed back. Is it the whole five million? No. No, it, it's not, but it, it's enough. I think there's a million dollars that I can help claw back. Like I said, many of you guys don't know, but I was heavily involved in the Alpha Investment consignment issues where the Alpha Investment, uh, not Alpha Investment, Alpha Crown. Oh, yikes. I lost to my other channel for a moment. Uh, Alpha Crown, they were robbed, again, due to no fault of their own. And a lot of the watches that were stolen, some were theirs and some were consignment pieces. I worked with every, to my knowledge, every consignee who had a consignment piece stolen to get their money back. All their money back. I didn't charge a penny. I didn't charge a dime. I didn't charge a dollar. None of them took me out to lunch. None of I have text messages from the, all of them. I have emails. I have LinkedIn of the checks that were paid out and so on and saying, oh, thank you for your help. Never charge a penny. I even, didn't even mention it till now. But you want to know who I am? That's who the fuck I am. I'm not the type of dude to rub on somebody just to get a free meal, Matthias. Like all the haters in the comment, they're the people who took the free dinners from Anthony. They're the people when Anthony was TPG, when he was balling, they're the people who got the free dinners, the free Lambos, or, no, the free Corvettes with Lambo doors, the free rentals and the free whatever, drinks and the free strippers, right? Like Teddy, the discounted watches for their wives and so on. I didn't get a single damn thing from this dude, nor will I ever get a single damn thing from this dude. I've turned down the free painting, which apparently on, in phase five might be worth $100,000 by the way this stuff is going, right? By the way this is going, the, the free sketch could be worth super buco lots of money. Look, guys, there's a shit ton to go over. I'm going to dilute it. I, I know you guys don't like it. You want me to show you all the evidence? Well, what's the fun in that? We, we have to uh, make it. So we are leveraging right now. We are leveraging. Because the end goal, I don't give a damn about the Darbys and Liz's and this individual, right? But I think they stole money. I can't prove it yet. I mean, I need a confession from Anthony. 
and I'm sure the FBI is listening very intently. So I'm gonna make two videos. One video with leaking some content, or not leaking, because it's not really leaking. There's, there's no private, maybe, I, I don't know. The private stuff is far worse than the public stuff, right? Um, and then and then this me just ranting about like what this actually means. I am trying to get money back to the consignees. That is the goal. I think I know where the money is, but unless Anthony confesses, if Anthony confesses on live stream, best case scenario, Liz and Darby have a million dollars. FBI now knows, FBI is now gonna go, FBI is now going to force Liz and Darby to give that money up. Again, I'm not saying they have a million dollars, I think it's much, much less. But if FBI say, hey, this gray market watch dealer was given a million dollars of watches at a discount of 50%, 60%, what, whatever the percentage is, they can claw back those watches. So maybe people don't get money back, but they get their watches. Even if I can get one watch back, it would be worth this journey. I think I can get a watch back. Maybe I'm delusional, maybe I'm crazy, but I think based on my experience of Alfred Crown and having worked with the victims, having made videos, helping the victims and everyone, all the consignees got paid out. So congrats to Alpha Crown. They are, and I talked to Alpha Crown, I talked to Wolverine. Like people don't really understand how much work was put in for the consignees to get their money back. People just see the mother effing video and think, oh, you didn't do anything. How many emails, how many LinkedIn messages were exchanged with these consignees? I didn't charge a dime. I didn't charge a nickel because all I was cared about, and they can tell you, they can tell you, was that they got their money and they got paid. That was it. That was it. That's the only thing I cared about because that's justice, right? They got screwed over. They got made whole. And hey, shout out to Alpha Crown. You guys did them right. To my knowledge, they paid everyone out every single penny. And maybe some of them, it took them longer than others, but they paid everyone out. So if you guys need a watch dealer, I can actually recommend Alpha Crown. Not sponsored. They would never pay me a dime. I would never take a free dinner. I would never, if they invited me to dinner and they, they, they would uh, pay my check, I would say, no, no, I'm good. You know, I, I got, I'm going to cover myself. Can you split the check? That's who I am. That's not who everyone in the watch community is, unfortunately. They will uh, stand by you when you pay for their dinners and their hotel rooms and you blank them in the butt. Uh, but as soon as uh, it becomes a little heated, uh, <laughs> we see who you really are. Anyway, um, we can go over Alpha Crown in a very positive light now. I have screenshots of the checks and all the things. I mean, like, honest to God, it was kind of a miracle everyone got paid, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, even even the guy who, who was, I think he was one of the last people to get paid, he was going full panic mode. Oh, I need to hire a lawyer. Do you have any attorneys? And I said, just wait, 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 wait. Because I know other people got paid. So I knew other people got paid at the time because I saw the checks. I said, don't just wait a little bit longer. He waited a little bit longer. He got paid. I have the text message. I have, I have all this stuff. I could figure this out, you know? Um, but if I can call back one watch, even if it's like a $15,000, $10,000 watch, don't you think it's worth it? I don't know.